Hi and welcome back to Sunsamed. In the following videos we're gonna talk about hypersensitivity reactions. So what is hypersensitivity? Hypersensitivity is exaggerated immunological response due to a stimulus. There are four types and uh, there are always some details that differentiate them such as which antibody or which cell are involved and duration and other small other differences. So in type 1, you have the antibody that is IgE. And the duration is immediate compared to the others. So what happens? So let you can make a story out of it. So let's assume that you have been exposed to some pollen or dust. In the first exposure, your alveolar macrophages will uh, engulf them and digest them, then present them as antigen presenting cells. Antigen presenting cells besides macrophages can also be dendritic cells and B cells. So the, uh, the APC uh, goes then to find the T helper cell. To be, to be more specific, naive T helper cell. Once it has been, and once it has found the T helper cell, the MHC2 molecule will bind to CD4 while the antigen will bind to a specific T cell receptor. But that's not enough. Besides this, there is a need of a co-stimulation to fully activate the T helper cell. And this is by B7 from APC binding to CD28 on T helper cell. Once this has occurred, CD3, which works as a secondary inducer of the transcription, will be activated. So now, once it's activated, we need to differentiate the naive T helper cell into either Th1 or Th2. And this will be based on which cytokines is expressed. If there is an expression of interleukin-12, the differentiation will be into Th1. Th1 is usually used in type 4 hypersensitivity, so we'll not talk about it in this video. But if there is an expression of interleukin-4, then you will differentiate into th2 this is the one that will be part of type 1 hypersensitivity in each t helper cell you have all the genomes that are required for both differentiations but the ones that are not required will be inhibited and uh, the genes that are included are interleukin 4 5 6 10 interferon gamma tumor necrotic factor and many others the ones that are required for th2 include interleukin 4, 5, 10. Interleukin 4 will inhibit formation of Th1, while at the same time, interferon gamma, if the roles would be opposite, would inhibit Th2 formation. Interleukin 4 has another function. This is a growth factor for B cells. And interleukin 5 is a differentiation factor, which converts B cells into plasma cells which are now the production sites of antibodies. And that with the help of CD40 ligand from T helper cells binding to CD40 on B uh, plasma cells, you will have an isotype switching and the isotype switching changing into another antibody. And the one that we need in this reaction is IgE. So once this reaction has occurred, IgE will now be produced in heavily amount and will be secreted and bind, uh, bonded to mast cells and basophils. So now, upon second exposure, the same thing will happen, but this time the antigen will go to the IgE, the specific antigen-specific IgE that is found on mast cells. And upon this binding, the antibodies now activate the mast cells to release its preformed primary and later synthesized cytokines. The preformed substances include histamine. 